Hello, 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 and welcome uh, my YouTube friends doing another preface video for the next series that I am about to do, The Timeless Path of True Love Reads. Um, I did one of these for the Romantic Soulmate Reads uh, last series, and uh, it felt good because I didn't have to repeat the same thing over and over and over. So uh, uh, chances are, if you're watching this, you're either watching it when I first put it out, or uh, you have clicked the link in the description box for one of the timeless uh, True Love Reads just to save time for the reads themselves instead of saying the same things over and over. You know, we all have to say it's a general read, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So for the sense of brevity, I was inspired. I went up into my room of requirement. I have a whole room in my house. It's just magical stuff in boxes. Uh, and found a blank book and found a lot of journals, too, going back to uh, my time in college, my time in high school when I was married to a guy. Don't worry. Don't freak. Uh, I was not married to a woman in this lifetime, at least not legally. Uh, symbolically, perhaps. Uh, so, um, in meditation, whatever, uh, my process, uh, uh, particularly with that full moon, Oh, that full moon in Aquarius, well, at the time of this recording last night, uh, I got some bullet points here that I just uh, wanted to cover, uh, as I said, for brevity. So why am I doing this? Uh, clarity uh, about what true love is, right? True love is divine love. It is the truth of who we are. It is the unity consciousness. It is the unconditional, all-encompassing love of the divine within all but obscured, right, within ourselves. So, you know, then what is the path of true love? Uh, the path of true love is, and I say, I've said this and it feels like hundreds of these videos, the path of true love is the hero's journey, the healer's journey, right? The spiritual path, the, the whatever you want to call your aspect, the quantum timelines of your divine plan, uh, but through the lenses of your relationship. So what these readings are and what they aren't, I am here to clarify, these readings are about you. I don't care who else shows up in them, they are about your path. You are the hero on your journey through your relationships, and these are not necessarily romantic sexual reads because once you get what holographic reality is <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are in relationship with it's all part of the path of true love and as you heal one you heal all of them a little bit by little bit by little bit and then of course there's the empathic piece with that that we're all helping each other heal through unity we are one eternal light appearing as all and all that jazz, right? Um, so it, it's it's not really feeding uh, the hungry codependent beast of are they coming back? It's really not about that because if they're not coming back, that is for a purpose. It, you don't have to like it. But what is it then that the, uh, the gods, the angels, the universe, the divine plan itself has put for you or taken away from you on the path in order for you to become the true love that you are, to be true love and form, which of course, as you shift that within yourself, the less dependent you are, right, the more trusting you are, and there is true hope rather than false hope. Um, because it's the inner work, right? It's the inner work, it's the spiritual alignment, and it's making wise, loving, empowered choices and decisions in your relationships, and that's different every time, right? One day it's this, the next day it's that, right? We're all growing, learning, and evolving. So we're eternal beings. We are. We're immortal souls. And that's why, as a reader, oh no, I'm not a fortune teller. I don't tell you what you want to hear. I'm a misfortune teller. I tell you what you need, right? So all tea, no shade, maybe some pink lemonade. Uh, so we're going to do a Celtic cross. That is my favorite way, the GPS, POV, <laughs> pick some vampires, uh, point of view, to see where you are, and yes, in relationship with another person. So the first position down will be you, the second will be somebody crossing your path, and remember, lover, friend, family member, boss, maybe even political official you're watching on TV who's challenging you in some way, shape, or form can be anything. It's all on the path of true love, and that is why you want to check your other signs, because your sun sign is going to get something either uh, the same as your moon sign, saying that the same relationship, or someone completely uh, different. And so we're going to be doing, I counted, 24 cards, uh, pretty much. I mean, I'll grab other oracles if necessary. I somehow doubt it, though. So uh, 10 Daughters of the Moon to get you the heart, throat, third eye crown dynamic, what's going on inside of you. Uh, 10 um, 
mythic tarot root sacrum solar plexus what's going on on the outside uh two caroline mace archetype cards one for you one for them so that at least you get what the eighth chakra is going on for both of you and uh we will uh finish that off with uh the healing with not healing with the angels oracle sorry the whispers of love uh oracle and healing mantra cards for you all right so 10 uh 20 yeah 24 there we go one two three, four, and a ten. I did math! Yay! <laughs> Please don't make me do math, but I did. Uh, so also, further study. I, I uh, did some videos uh, back at the Silver Broom in Sayville in 2017, 2018, recorded them, put the the demos, well, that's not the demos, that's the word, the trailers up on YouTube early on, I think 2016, 2017, when I started the channel for Drawing the Circle. Um, but then, you know, did Path of True Love workshops. I had five of them recorded, uh, and they're all on Vimeo, and you can go watch them. You know, I, I forget what the price is on them now, but I can check that before we go live uh, with an, any of that. But they've also all been transcribed. They've all been written down, every word of it written down, including the questions and answers. So uh, that looks like that's going to be a book eventually. I just don't know when. <laughs> so uh, do your research, right? Look into true love. Uh, Course in Miracles has been big for me, particularly the work of Marianne Williamson. Her work, Enchanted Love, was really good, and it's one of her lesser-known books, but it's, I found it truly helpful. Uh, and with all that Law of Attraction stuff, just be careful. Um, I'm just going to say, because a lot of people have gone through a lot of Law of Attraction uh, busy work and are still struggling. Uh, and I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So you're worthy of being the true love that you are, but that's really what these readings are about, and that's certainly going to accelerate your process going with the plan rather than <laughs> against it, and even when you go against it, that's part of the plan somehow, don't ask me. Uh, and yeah, uh, if you want a private read, like if any of this really kind of hits you and go, that's me, I really want to heal this, then reach out to me. Just tell me what video it is, or at least tell me what the dominant two archetypes are, and what signs are involved, and uh, reach out to me. I'm going to do a video on not just how to book a, a, a reading with me, but what actually goes down. And I've been doing these things for a, here and there called half hour power. I'm $100 an hour for a reading. Boom. Flat rate, whether it's a party, right? You want to read, want me to read a party, a wedding reception for five hours? It's 500 bucks, and I will read as many people as I possibly can. And no, I will not drink alcohol during because you don't want me doing that at a wedding. Uh, but uh, so also for a half hour, these half hour powers, 50 bucks. We can do them on Vimeo. Uh, Vimeo. We can do them on Zoom. We can do them on uh, Facebook uh, video call. I love doing face to face, and I am getting out in the world. And uh, if I know you, and you've been to my house before, you're welcome to come for a reading, but give me a few days to tidy, I am a Virgo, right? And uh, yeah, I, I think that's about what I wanted to say uh, about this, just to explain that this is not a, it is a relationship reading, but it's ultimately about your relationship with the divine, with the love that you truly are, and the truth involved uh, to walk the path of true love. And I've said it before, I'll say it billions of times if necessary path of true love takes the courage of a warrior's heart, right? A hero's heart. It is the hero's journey. And, you know, our ancient ancestors really didn't have to deal with this too much. They were busy, I don't know, hunting and gathering and farming, right? Codependence wasn't an issue in the life of the tribe, depended on it. Screw your intuitive impulses, gotta bring in the harvest. But we are in such a totally different paradigm. And after this past year of such isolation for so many people and such fear of contact, May these readings be a blessing upon us all, and why not? Uh, may these readings that I do, the Path of True Love readings, timeless, but doing them at the end of July here, going into August, may they be a blessing upon all who watch it, that they may heal, that they may grow, that they may evolve, that they may fulfill their role in the divine plan through the Path of True Love, bringing more true love into physical form, blessing this world, and may this world be truly blessed with the Path of True Love manifest for the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. So would it be. <laughs> so it is. Ooh, that was a quickie for me, right? So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share this with people, right? And there will always be tons of links in the description box for your further education, information, educate, uh, uh, entertainment, what have you. 
And uh, certainly if you feel like commenting, please do so. And if you want to book me, uh, the deeds are in the description. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube friends. But for now, as ever, hell, <laughs> farewell, and blessed, blessed day.